did you guys forget like Mexican Mother's Day? Where's my treat? You know? Like, ugh. Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, today it's Friday and I know Mother's Day is coming up soon. Uh, Mother's Day this year is on May 10th. It's also Mexican Mother's Day on May 10th. They line up this year, so that's pretty great. Um, on today's agenda, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make eggs in a basket or breakfast in bed for your mom or for your, you know, motherly figure in your life. Um, so the agenda, we're gonna start off with making ring molds and these ring molds are gonna help us create a hole in our bread. And then with that hole in the bread, we're gonna put an egg in that hole and fry it up. And this could be scrambled or over easy, but in the end, it's all going to be very delicious. We're gonna start off by cutting out a mold. You don't have to do this if you have cookie cutters, if you have a variety pack of cookie cutters. Um, this is just kind of an extra step, but I want to make the hole in our eggs in a basket heart-shaped. So the way you can make a cookie cutter at home is you get any thin cardboard or just cardboard in general. This is a lunch tray. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out. Once you're done cutting the cardboard, what you're going to do is you're going to cover that cardboard in tin foil. So the tin foil here acts as like a stabilizer, but basically you're gonna get your tape here and just tape the tin foil down to the cardboard here. Nice and stable. I like to start off with the pointy part of the heart and then I kind of like to bend it over. Um, see, that's kind of half a heart. And then right where you know where you're gonna have your other half, you can crease that over, fold it over, just like this and then you can start shaping your other side. So we've got our weird <laughs> kind of heart-shaped mold. Now this could work uh, with anything really. If you're making cookies, if you're making pancakes, you can use this as a pancake mold, just to make it a little bigger, obviously. So now we're gonna move on to the cooking part of it. So guys, now we have our ingredients here. The ingredients uh, shown below are cheese. You don't have to use cheese. I mean, a lot of people like cheese, so I'm gonna use cheese today. Um, for the eggs, we're gonna use salt, pepper, and we're gonna use nonstick spray for the griddle here. And just any sort of toast that you have. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use our mold that we just made, and we're going to cut a shape into our bread. And this will be the basket. So let me just get my mold here. Let me just try and use the other side here. Let's see if we can get that looking pretty. But yeah, just press it out. And once you're done here, you can just pop out that little bread. And work. So, <laughs> so you could use this as like a little decoration at the end, but as you can see, our bread here has our basket perfect for our egg. So guys, once you're ready with your bread, you've got your bread all situated and everything, we're gonna start cooking. So to start us off, you always want to grease your pan. And now the next step here is to just plop your toast. So once you hear that sizzling a little bit, um, you're gonna kind of wanna start getting your eggs. Now, you can just crack the egg. You always want to crack an egg on a flat surface. Never use the edge of a pan, because then you're going to end up with shells in your egg, and that's no bueno. Um, so start off with an egg. You can even just put this in a bowl and scramble it real quick, and then just pour it in very carefully. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and drop this in. And the bread should form a well that your egg should stay in naturally. Ooh, that's good. Now, you don't want to season this immediately because if you season it with salt and pepper, you're going to dry out your egg and your um, yolks are going to end up a little bit rubbery. Um, so just let it cook, let it sit there. It's not going anywhere, just be patient. Eggs cook pretty fast anyway. So let's just go ahead and season this right now before anything else happens.
Now, when you flip something, and this goes for anything, pancakes, omelets, you want to commit to it. You don't want to hesitate. The, the toast and anything that you're flipping, the food feels fear. It feels your fear. So you want to commit to flipping anything. So there you go, um, that's how you make eggs in a basket and you can use your custom ring mold to create any shape you want. Um, today we created a heart for Mother's Day. Um, remember to tell your moms or your parental motherly figures in your life that you love them, you care about them. Um, you know, make them some eggs, make some breakfast in bed, show that you really care. And um, I hope you guys have a festive Mother's Day season. Yeah. Um, that concludes this video. Thank you for watching, guys.